Netherlands nation. First of all, my name is Aranya. I am from Thailand. My position now is LD2. I am from Bangkok, Thailand, which is morning. So I might sometimes say, oh, good morning, right? However, good evening. And allow me two minutes. Our CEO, Ramin Mescalu, built four multi-million dollars MLM businesses as a distributor. He founded MLM Most Advanced MLM University, the Forensic Networker, in 1999. Founded MLM Premier Most Prestigious, Premier and Most Prestigious MLM Company, 2005. I wonder where that is. It's us. Voted World Top MLM Compensation Plan Expert in 2010. Featured in Networking Times as Master Networker 2011. Featured on the cover of American Business Journal with Warren Buffett 2013. Voted World's Number Two at All Time MLM Business for Home.org 2014. Nominated for Ernest & Young, Entrepreneur of the Year 2015. Voted in MLM's first inductee Hall of Fame with Paul St. Pilser and Like 2016. His company ranked top momentum company in MLM in the pandemic, Business for Home 2020. Voted top networker again by uh, Business for Home, 2020. Was he born with a special talent? No. We all start at the same place, but some of us decide not to stay there, keep evolving. This is what he always say. Welcome our Ramin Mescalu, our beloved CEO. Ramin, welcome. <laughs> Swadika. Hello, hello, Swadika to you as well. All right, so we talked last week that we got to get somebody on. One of us, each one of us, they have to get somebody on. So I'm just going to give you a minute to be getting that person on. We remember, that's the way we're going to get our numbers up. Everybody got to get the message. You're not going to make a lot of money. Your people are uninformed. MLM is about your people, right? It's about your people being able to duplicate uh, so at some point you could have a residual income. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know, it's not going to, we're a team business, right? We're a team business. Now I'm going to try to do these calls in about, you know, sometime maybe about a half an hour. I also want to do leave the next half an hour or whatever time that requires for questions. People can ask questions. Uh, things are going to evolve a lot in every part of our business. And uh, so this is no different. Uh, somebody in the Telegram group, the leaders group, asked today, said, but hey, can we do something about closing? And uh, so I went back to my forensic network book. And, you know, we've, we're talking a lot about, um, a lot about uh, just taking back to the way it used to be. You know, I used to do three-day seminars on a forensic networker. Three-day seminars. So I think what I'm going to do I'm going to go back right to the basics. So tonight we're not going to talk about closing because I think what's going to happen is people need to start from the basics. But start from the basics and then I'm going to work you guys up as if, you know what? I'm going to look at the new office and it's beautiful. A new office as we just got launched. That's it. We just got, I'm going to look at you all. You're brand new. You're all brand new. And how I built this company is I put everybody on forensic. And we used to do this, like, you know, uh, actually today we were excited to talk about we used to do boot camps every Saturday. And the boot camp started, it was from 10 to 5. It was it was a long day. It was a full day. But I remember thinking, and we charged 45 bucks for it. We, that included lunch and stuff. And we, I remember thinking, we used to talk about it. We said, whoever back then, you know, we bragged about how retention was like, uh, it was like 800% um, higher than the DSA average, which is everybody. We talked about how our uh, monthly activity ratio, partner, uh, partner activity ratio was 440% uh, uh, higher than the DSA average. And we talked about how is it that we're so much better than the industry average. And everybody thought it was the same thing because all the leaders that said, you know, it was after a boot camp. 
as soon as I got in, the very first one, you could be putting through this, uh, you know, long day. It was like from 10 to 4 p.m. And we take them through. And of course, we're not a global business back then, so the time zone was not an issue. And uh, But people, when they went through that, they got, you know, so we're going to go back to those days again. We're going to go back to those days again where we're going to take everybody, the new person, through a full-fledged boot camp. It's going to be nicely done. It's going to be, you know, we could provide lunch and provide a variety of drinks. And, you know, as of course, there's always coffee and cappuccino and latte and all those things. But we're going to treat every one of you as if you're brand new. We're going to build your checkup, right, from our, the first... I guess the first part of the cycle is 90 bucks, that's <laughs> right. And then it goes up to power cycle at 460. So that's what we're going to. So one of the things I was, obviously we're looking at entire business and we're constantly updating things. And, um, and of course uh, uh, on Friday, is it on Friday? I think so, yeah. On Friday, we're going to be showing you what, uh, uh, what the design of model.io looks like. And it's incredible, it's a beautiful model. But it's the, the, the design of that is actually the same design of the retail model, which is for Opulence for you guys. So we're going to do a lot there. So I thought tonight, you know what? I'm going to treat you guys like you're brand new. And every week we're going to cover, you know, because we have the Saturday call, right? We have the Saturday call and you beat. So in the Opulence, you got two types of training. You got the Uplands training. That's basically the next 30 days, right? All of you should go through it. Doesn't matter how long you've been here. That bit, that's No, that's going to become more intense because we're going to go back to the old boot, boot camp format. And we're going to get you, got teach you everything from scripts and how to do presentations and, you know, how to do prospecting and uh, pretty much, you know, objections and all of that stuff. So we're going to take you through your brand spanking new Except we're going to modernize it to today because today we have some tools that we didn't have back then. Although I would still say back then people that networkers were far more, um, far more effective. I think the reason why the networkers back then were far more effective, not because that uh, they were better networkers or because the, the only reason is that there was less tools available for there's less tools available. Uh, so what happens is people have to learn things. You have to go through a six, seven, eight hour boot camp once a month uh, to refresh your memory. And so people work harder to learn the business. Of course, that extra work gave them, uh, made them a completely different distributor. Compa These days, I think a lot of people rely on, I don't know what to rely on. It's like you just, everything has to be online and you know, of course, if you're online, see, if you're sitting in, in the seminar center, you're there, you got this book in your hand, you're writing stuff, you're paying attention. You know, these days, um, you know, you may be walking around right now, you know, watching TV at the same time, be on your phone, you know, who knows what you're doing, right? So um, it's not the same thing. So I find our people back then were bragged about how they were highly, highly educated in MLM. We bragged about that. Like, you know, my... You could take take a young person, young woman from from the opulence group. It would go against somebody who's making thirty grand a month for another company, and our young girl would destroy them. That's how good they were. We spent a lot of time training our people. I remember my first concept of uh, was that you know while every other MLM companies that talk about go get salespeople or get people to sell. Um, for me, said so I don't want the most amount of distributors. I want the most amount of trainers. So we're going to back to that. I want to be the most educated, competent workforce in the whole industry because the industry needs it too. You know, we used to make the industry look really good. We did. I mean, I, I was told everywhere because I used to accept, you know, to go speak at the biggest MLM events like European Direct Selling Association. I was on the stage and they gave me two spots to talk with all the stars. You know, um, and I was in a uh, in Dallas, um, the other big one that's the mas mastermind, and was speaking there. And uh, so, you know, I I was, you know, people looked at us as your company, we were so competent. Um, and it was the same people, it was normal people. We never brought MLM people on board. 
we've never really catered to that. We, you know, um, and we took the average person who had absolutely no experience and sometimes better when they have no experience because what happens, I have no baggage, right? You train them the right way, train them the right way. So we're going to do that. You know, we're going to, as our 20th anniversary is arriving in 20 years, well, uh, coming up, we're going to build this thing again because pretty much 90% of you are new. Like you were not there in those days. And we're going to bring everybody back home. We're going to make you a better version of yourself. Uh, and uh, we're a much better company today than we were back then. Back then, you know, we only had fashion. We didn't even have luxury fashion at first. It was just fashion. Um, of course, now we got the best fashion products and we got the safe home revolution. You know, our, our, I argue our, our compensation plan is better than back then. And um, so there was a lot. All we have to do is that implement the work ethic side of it that we had back then to today. You know, we uh, you guys might notice uh, there's uh, we have sev several people who came to us with zero, zero experience. And uh, we managed to train them and work with them. And uh, we brought them up to a level of LD3, you know, anywhere from, I think the fastest one, six months. And uh, the, sometimes it took two or three years. But the point is that we've had some six, seven, eight months uh, uh, LD3s. So we had people who made five figure monthly, well over 10,000 a month, uh, you know, uh, in this company. Uh, so we're going to, uh, again, the, the difference was, Back then, we were very serious about it. I think the pandemic kind of threw something at everyone. I know companies are no longer around, by the way. I mean, in the pandemic, they just closed their doors. Um, but the ones who didn't, I think, you know, we kind of got used to the Zoom thing. And it's a great tool. Uh, it's a great tool as long as it's a tool not a replacement, right? It's a, so we're going to get you guys. So we're going to do those boot camps. You guys are going to be on if you're overseas. You know, you're going to join us here at the same time till you're competent enough. Then you're going to do your own boot camps wherever you are. So, uh, you know, and we can reach to the boot camps for other markets. We used to do, we'd be on a call. Uh, they'll have us on the Zoom and we'll do a full boot camp. You know, so yeah, this is, this is where when, it becomes a tool, it's very helpful. It's very helpful. So today I thought what I'm going to do, I don't know how many of you guys actually took the time to go through our, um, to go through our, our website, our place website on the outside. And I think I'm just going to, this brings back a lot of our heritage. So I'm going to take you guys through that. I'm going to share with you guys how to use some of these tools, why they're there, maybe some stories, uh, and and then we go from there, because again we said so we're going to start from the basics. I can tell you when we started, we didn't have a website like we do today. Let me tell you about our first website, <laughs> and the second website, and the third website. So when I started, I started this business from home. I didn't. I don't have any skills in this type of skills. So uh, I would just wrote the comp plan and just you know talk to the people. And I had a, one of the people that used to work for me at, uh, at the time. And he says, well, I'm not really a graphic designer or web developer, but I, don't know, I can do some stuff. So he put together, <laughs> he put together this really cheesy uh, website. At least we had something. And then, so when I, when I uh, went to show them, because this is the pre-launch, right? He talked to us, do you have a website? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go to the website and then he had, these gemstones that were supposed to be buttons to click, right? And then it, when he goes to click, I said, oh, don't click that because he, he wouldn't click. <laughs> he was just static pictures. <laughs> he was, uh, this is how we started. You know, we had no office. We had no, uh, we, well, it's brand new. We have no success stories. We, we didn't even have any products. We had a vision. That's it. We had, we had a vision. People knew me, knew my track record, and they knew that we we're going to build it. And we did within three months. I think we've done like a, a well, 10, 11 versions of the website now. now. The website we have now, it's a marvel of technology. This is the top of the top. I mean, the technology in this, this is, we spent about $4 million now into the software. 
and the uh, and the website that you see there is million lines of code you know so i look at this i kind of laugh you know my first one where you kind of went on something and then even like the version three and four you know it wasn't like one website that had everything in it you had like three or four different websites and whatever easy we could find and then we put a link and that was sophistication for us you put a link that take it to that next website that was a training and you know looking back it's actually good for you guys to hear those stories looking back where we were and where we are today um and i was going through this 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 uh opulence website so you know what this is an amazing looking website and i start going through it and um because uh, the reason why i did this is because one of uh somebody I knew in MLM about 35 years ago, and uh, she had fibromyalgia back then. And some and you know, for some reason, this woman is incredible, she never forgets. I have not seen her in about 15 years or 20 years, but on my birthday, she always emails me, Happy birthday, Ramina. She's a sweetheart, you know. I don't know how she remembers, but like, she, although I haven't seen her in 20 years, she messages me, you know, and she says, Happy birthday. So, and I asked her, so I said, Monique, so how's your fibromyalgia? And she says, you know, it's still bad, whatever. Of course, she's a lot older now, too. And uh, so I said, you know what? You need to try Divine. And I said, okay, where do I get it? So, you know, I never went to the website. So I actually thought, let me go to the website and, you know, and because they see where Divine is, it's a new product and so forth. And while I got into this, and by the way, I sent a couple of bottles as to today. So when I got into this, um, I realized how nice it is. Like, there's so much stuff here. And again, IB and the team and Caesar and the team do an amazing job for you guys. This is a impressive website, you know. Uh, so of course you got these banners. If somebody new goes here, prospect, they know there's a lot going on in your company. It's a very impressive uh website. They see uh that the, the different types of lines of products that you have. It's very much designer. It's a very much designer. Of course, you can click on these things. We do it later, but just going to take you all the way down. Here's all our brands. I love this video. I mean, look at that, right? Talk about designer or what? You know, we have a full-fledged media team. We do everything in-house. All these videos are done here. Somebody was asking me the other day, um, and I told him, I said, listen, you know, we actually do. He says, who's doing your marketing for you? The videos. I said, we do it ourselves. He couldn't believe it. I said, yeah, we got about $100,000 worth of equipment in-house. We've always done our own uh, videos in-house. So when you send people to your website, right, contact me right there. Now, this one, I guess, is Reza's. I'm on Reza's um, website right now. So, again, you should be having your picture there, Right. Spend some time. We've developed this gorgeous website for you. You should go in and not only that, you should also put a message. It allows you to put a message, you know, to your prospects, right? So over here, you know, your prospect can go there and, and put, you know, uh, put name, you know, Ramin, and then message, recruit me. <laughs> so forth so at the end of the day um it's there so you can send people to website they can put the put the thing in all right so on the about us this is going to change soon in the new office this is our story there's a nice video here so we use videos a lot this industry is one of the most so we use videos a lot. Again, it's personal, it's passionate. You know, people see, again, that these are real people behind us, are real people. Our mission, our vision. Now, this is our corporate team. Instead of just text, we actually have them do videos so people can see. Maybe you didn't know. So we want you guys, your people, to feel, you know, there's a real people behind this company, right? So uh, these are some of the locations of the, our corporate offices, but we have about 12 companies worldwide. So here we got some pictures of the Canada headquarters. I think we can do better than, than these, but we're just going to wait till a new building. 
This is a beautiful office in Philippines. We got a brand new office in Thailand. Um, we have a couple of pickup centers, but we don't put them on the website. All right, so that's about us. You know, people want to be a VIP shopper. We're doing a lot of good work about that. You can, by the way, see the VIP shopper here? You, you don't actually have to come to the website. You can just go to here. And when you copy this and send this, people come directly to here. They don't have to go to the front page. They come directly here. You can actually get a domain name yourself, so christinesfashion.com, whatever. And you can forward it to this page in your website. And then, boom, they come here. Now, we have the retail mall coming up for you guys. So a lot of the stuff I'm talking about is going to become very, very relevant for you very soon. Okay? Very soon. Sign up, shop and earn, treat yourself. He talks about all the rewards program. This is something I don't see you guys talk enough about. We have one of the most aggressive rewards program in the whole fashion industry. And they compare us to Air Miles or anything, any, any rewards program. I don't care. We have the most aggressive rewards program. Not only you get a gosh of free stuff when you shop as a VIP, we even have a referral program when your VIP refers another VIP. And that VIP, the friend, gets a gush of free products. And the referring person VIP also gets a gush of free products again. So VIP can get free products on their referral too. So again, you should be talking a lot about that. We ship worldwide, we drop ship worldwide. So again, there's some information here. You should be going, reading it, understanding it, and talk to it. Today, um, I... You know, one of the things we used to have back in those days, and Reza was talking about it, and some other people were talking about it, is that they have a drop card, right? We had them back then. We're going to bring them back out. Today, I wrote two uh, drop cards for you. It's already with the graphic team, and the marketing team, and they're going to design it tomorrow. One of them is for fashion, and the other one is for Safe Home Revolution. But the Safe Home Revolution, so again, it, I find it to be very powerful. A drop cards. And let me tell you why I've done that because I get stopped all the time. People are constantly uh, asking me stuff, but they're asking me when I'm driving, getting out of the car, it's a valet guy or something. I don't have time to stand to talk to them, you know? So, and I don't really want to give them my card because, you know, to me, you know, I don't want people constantly messaging me and stuff. So for you guys, it's different. When I was on the field, that's what I would do. I want to talk to people, you know, in, in my case, you know, I have a, I have a uh, corporate job. I mean, I'm in the back office. So I thought to myself, you know, it'd be nice to have a drop card. You know, the other day, I think I told you guys, you know, I was we went to Andrew Buccelli and a, a concert. It was a private event in Toronto. And of course, we're going in, you know, it's a very prestige thing. So I'm getting out of the car and then the, this guy opens the door, the valet guy opens the door. And he, and he didn't, he didn't, comment on on the g-wagon or anything his eyes went right to my shoes and he said nice shoes you know what kind is that what brand is that and on and i'm thinking okay if i start that conversation there's a lineup of cars behind me i was thinking to myself you know what we should have a drop cart right so and of course every time you go to the gas station there's always so we're coming out with two we gonna come. One is for the fashion, and on one side he talks about, hey, if you wanna buy it, I have some amazing text that you're gonna see it. And on the back, hey, we're expanding across the country. Join our team. Join our team. So one side is for the business. The other side is if they just want to get free rewards, free shopping spree. And the other side is the Safe Home Revolution. Again, one side, you know, it's got a picture of divine and the fountain of life, and they put some pretty strong wording there, uh, and. And then on the back of it, talk about, hey, we want to bring the benefits of this high performance uh, products to the country, across the country, you know, you know if, you, if you join our team. So again, I'm not giving you the text right now. So if, if you want to, you should have both, right? When they come out, you should have both, but you should carry both. Don't make the mistake of doing what you like to do because that's shrinking your business. You know, um, I don't think any of us are that arrogant to say, well, well what I like, I only met one guy in my lifetime 
<laughs> it was really arrogant. <laughs> Actually, it's not. only one guy. I anyway, one celebrity came here. He's a very well-known celebrity. He came here, and he uh, we always ask the celebrities that come here, like 300 of them over the years. And I said, okay, so, in, in, you know, in one word, they describe it, and then he said it. And then he and he complimented Ferry. He says, look, you know, usually when I go to other designers, I maybe 20, 30% of the stuff I like, you know. But when I'm Ferry, I could tell you, I'm looking at it. 90% of the stuff here I love. And then this is the part that is kind of arrogant. Says, and uh, me, whatever I love, everybody loves. <laughs> he was actually arrogant enough to actually say that. What I love, everybody loves. So, um, but... We're not the rest of us are like that, right? So what we need to do is that have both. And when you assess the situation, you give them the right drop card. If somebody's um, you know, making a comment on your fairy timepiece or posh jewelry, you don't want to give a drop card of say from revolution, right? That doesn't make any sense. And we don't want to put them all on one card, it's just, just too much, right? We want to, you know, this for this with folks, there is more fashion people out there. Then there is health people. I can tell you that right now. You know, somebody would say, well, no, 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 everyone wants help. Look, they, yeah, everyone wants help. The problem is everybody thinks they already have health. You know, you know, unless you find somebody who has some type of health problem, which is rare, really. Most people, although they're not, they feel they're okay, or they're using something else anyways, or or and there is an old thing in sales. It said, give people what they need because health products are need products. Sell them what they want. So, because people would spend money on things they want to do. You can, and I made one of it in one of my videos 25 reasons. Actually, we should watch our video one of these days. Uh, 25 reasons why Apple is the best product in, in MLM, uh, an opportunity in MLM. And I talked about that you can sell people death. You can sell people death because they want it. Death because they want it. It's got tobacco and alcohol, right? And many other things are harmful, right? You know, so some of the foods that people eat every day, they know it's toxic and harmful. They know it. They do it anyways, right? They want to do it, right? So that's what fashion is. Fashion is a want product. And people would buy it. Like, you just look at your closets. How many pairs of black shoes do you have? Do you need more than one? You don't. You bought it, why? Because you just wanted it, right? Do you need, the, you know? So we have that. That's an element that other MLM companies don't have. This is a very much, um, one of our major, major, major advantages. Major advantages. Well, we have want products. While everyone else is selling need products or no products at all. We got want products and we have need products. As a matter of fact, our need products are much better than their need products. The Fountain of Life and Divine and, you know, soon Collagen. But we also have one. So these drop cards, you have both, you know, buy both of them. They're not expensive anyways. And, you know, open up your... First of all, here's what happens with fashion. You, what happens with fashion? When you deck yourself out hip to toe, and we'll make sure you do that because that's how we did it back then. That's what, We're going to make sure you do that. Um... People will approach you all the time. They'll approach you all the time. Like you were surprised too because you'll be not ready. I can tell you stories after stories after stories. How many times I'm going through the airport security. Airport security. And the girl that says, well, come, come, come. Says, nice watch. What type of watch is that? You have any idea how many times that happens? And when you are decked out with fairy and posh, you're constantly going to be approached. So this is when these drop cards come in handy. And then here it is. It directs them exactly where to go, which is your, your, with those days we used to call uh, our emails, we used to call VDMs. I don't know if you got, some of you guys remember those days, VDM, VDM, Virtual Designer Mall. That's what they were called before. Anyway, um, so uh, those, those cards are coming out. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's go back to VIP Shopper. We were already here, right? Yeah, we're already there. Let's go to the opportunity. Again, you come here. What do you see? A video. People love watching videos. 
This is a beautiful website. Absolutely beautiful website. Top six years of work uplifts global is your best work from home business opportunity. Confidence, compensation plan, cutting edge. Now, of course, you know, you can click on these things, read more about it, right? Compensation plan, company with credibility. You can just click on it, <clears throat> all of it. It's very, very clean, right? International opportunity, opulence lifestyle. Oh, look at that. Is that classy or what? I don't know how many guys you guys actually have gone through this, right? You guys should. And here it tells you what the packages are. Free, 650, 13, 1900. By the way, guys, something really cool is coming up. Really, really cool. Really cool, really cool. It's going to bring a whole new crowd in. I really want to see those $100,000 a month checks again. I, I'm not getting the cashing yet, but I want to see it. You know, it was fun. You know, when you see in businessform.org, this is like the CNN of MLM. And then we have the, the guy who sets a record is from a, uh, our company, Rene Liao, 107,000 with 7,000 people in his team. So, I mean, we got some really, really cool stuff. You know, of course, when people see all this compensation, just like VIP, they go down here, contact me, right? Now, we put all these really cool things now, gadgets now. Have you guys seen this? You know, these are all the things that you've qualified for as a variance bonus, as an MGRS or a car club, you know, a qualified pre uh, presenter. This tells you LD fork, all these cool stuff that's here. These are not those generals and the armies. They got this big, all the, all the wars I've been to, but that's what that is, right? This is your, uh, this is your badge of honor that's, that's sitting here. So pack it up, pack it up, pack it up. All right. So login page. Oh, look. did you see that guy? Did you have you guys seen this video? Let me show you this guy again. Look, look how young I was. Who is this guy? Not this guy. This guy's old. This is a young guy. Young guy is coming. Where did he go? There we go. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh my god. I dress like that. Who wears that tie? <laughs> you can see who wears that tie. <laughs> hey, you know who was your presenter back then, huh? Right? <laughs> Lovely. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Very handsome. <laughs> hey, this was looking. this was our office in Ottawa. It was like a like oh, it's very, it was a corporate study. Yeah, yeah, it was. We we have a full video for this. You guys should watch it. It's actually quite a, uh, it's quite a emotional video. We should watch it. It's called "It's Our Time." We get to that in a minute. All right. So back then, this so we didn't have actually an office. So we had a well, initially we didn't have an office. Then it was a corporate center. Then we got a small office. You know, it's a two hundred and fifty square feet. And this was the boardroom that we used. This is a boardroom that we used. And I was fit though. Listen, I, I don't care which one of the suspenders on the tie, but that guy had hair and and he was fit. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's, where are we at? So we go to, okay. So now you got all these, you know, all this cool stuff, leadership rewards. Let's look at that. Oh, who doesn't want that? Now we call this Opulent Club, right? Opulent Club. Here's your cars, your cruises. I mean, I would send this page alone to network marketers. Hey, you want fun? You want money? Here, check out this page, right? This is a bragging page. This is the one that you can have fun with, dream build with. I love, you know, when I was younger, I didn't have a lot of money and I was kind of, you know, needed motivation. But this is how I got it because I used to go to car dealerships and look at cars I could not afford and set targets and say, this is what I want. This is there to design, to give you that feeling. Now, in our business, as an LD1, you can get there in a few days, literally. You can start qualifying for a car. So you can actually start qualifying for a car. You know, how many of you guys just have qualified for the cruise? Put your, just throw something in the chat. How many of you guys qualify for a cruise? So for the new people can see, this is not hard, hard to get. There's a lot of you guys. Every time we do a cruise, there's over 100 people there. And now we do it twice a year. Because one for the east and one for the west. And um, yeah, there's tons of you here, tons of you. 
All right. So actually, Renee was telling me yesterday or a couple of days ago, his Tesla is paid for now. That's a Tesla we paid for him. I don't know why I'm paying Renee's uh, car. He makes enough money. He should get his own car. But anyways, uh, you know, he says he wants to get this. He has this fancy, you know, $250,000 BMW truck. I said, nah, 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 BMW, nah. So he's decided to go for a Porsche. So he's going to, oh, maybe I shouldn't have given that the, the surprise out. I did anyway, so I guess now you're gonna have to upgrade to a Lamborghini or something, Renee. So uh, we come up with the element of surprise. Oh, okay. he put it himself, so that's good. Actually, I prefer your Porsche than a Lamborghini because the Porsche is a much better car. All right, so let's continue. Um, in the media, have you guys taken the time to go through our, our heritage to see how many celebrities and videos and press? Look at that page. Is that insane or what? These are all, I mean, top, top celebrities in Hollywood, Nollywood, Bollywood. I mean, you can just, yeah. Hey, you guys like rap? That's a soldier boy. Soldier boy. You guys, <laughs> this was at the Emmys in 2013 uh, in uh, Rodale Drive, Beverly Hills. So this is all your website. You can, you know, for some people, you just want to send them this pitch. Just go here. Just copy that. You can send this. It goes straight to here. They don't have to go to the website, right? You could just send this this by itself. If you're in Philippines, this is one of the uh, Philippine stars, right? Filipinos, give it, give, give it some love. You know, if you're Nigerian, here's one of your stars in Nigeria, right? We have them all here. Like it's a, this is the Emmy Award winner, Doug Davidson. He also came, he flew to Canada and he did a one of he did a major video for us. It's loading uh, with Sanaz. Okay, I don't know why that was not loading. Now you know who everyone knows this guy, right? Kiss, the biggest rock band of all time. I gotta tell you a story about this guy. We were uh, we were we were only fashion. We did a lot of stuff, so we we stopped doing it. We're gonna go back and do it again. We used to do Ferry on the Runway, Canada's largest fashion show. And we used to do TIFF, multiple years, and all Emmys and all that. So this guy, get the stories. I don't know who was, but some of you guys may have been there. I think Maria, Marianne was there. I don't know if Maria was there. And some of you guys were there anyway. So we're at TIFF, right? Uh, the uh, sick, sick kids, sick kids. So I had the billionaires of Canada there. The, there's, there's Bogatis Park outside. This is the place to be. In our table, I'm sitting with the CEO, president of Universal Music, and it's that. So for this guy is there, with Shannon, and Shannon and him are getting married the following week. Now, Ferry, we had a booth there. We you know with the, you know our stuff and all the celebrities going through it, and we donated like Air Canada, all the major corporations in Canada donated towards the kids, the kids with cancer, right? So our contribution was we put a twenty-eight thousand dollar ferry package. It was a collection of sunglasses, shoes, and bags, and those things. So we put it there, and of course, the, all these big corporations, Air Canada said, hey, two trips to Hawaii, and all this stuff, right? So Ferry came. So it's $28,000 package. This story is just going to shock you. There's 300 of the top people in Canada there. These are CEOs of major companies. And this guy is there. So he came from the U.S., because his partner was a president of Universal Music. Anyway, so Ferry, 28,000. He put his hand up. He said 25,000. Gene Simmons. And he thought that would be it. There's a guy Nick, over there next table. He said, hey, 28,000. There's another guy you know, down at 32,000. He's looking around. Imagine this. Just imagine this in this very, I mean, there's a billionaire sitting, right? He didn't, Gene Simmons, he, only he can do stuff like this. No one else, you and I will not be able to get away with this. Only he can do this. So he looks around, he's not in the mood to get into a betting war with billionaires in the room. So he got up, he's still walking around, he put his hand up, walking around. And on this stage, now 300 people sitting in this gala, all dressed up. He takes the microphone away from the auction here. He said 50,000. And they closed the auction on the ferry package. <laughs> if, so it was the only package, by the way, that went above what it was worth. It was 28, 50. 
And then he says, look, 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 look. I'm getting married next week, he said. Next week. And Shannon has been through the fairy stuff. She wants the stuff for the wedding. So, but here's the thing. But he knew he had hurt the kids because this is for the raise kids money for kids with cancer. He says, how about this? He made up for it though. Bet on this. See at my wedding next week at the head table. Bet on that. So be about 10, 20, 30,000. They're now at my house and a celebrity chef that was there. And he's going to be there to cook for you and my family. Bet on that. And then uh, you're going to be on my show. He had a show called The Family Jewels. It was 84 countries at the time. It was, he said, you be on my show. So anyway, he raised two, $300,000. He made up for it. But I'm just saying, this is what he did to get the ferry package. Because Shannon had mandated him. I want the ferry stuff. So this is some of the stuff. Anyway, look at the... Isn't this heritage priceless? Seriously, isn't this heritage priceless? And how many of you missed all that, right? Like you never actually took the time to look at the videos, you know. This is this was a luxury company. It was a pride. Like you'd be pride, proud just to go out there and, and talk about it because this is our history. So these are some photos. And if you want to watch some videos, okay, so there's press by the way, lots of press. So here we've done it. Forbes, American Business Journal, look at all this. Did you even know this exists? And we could send this alone and to, uh, to your prospect to impress the hell out of them, right? I mean, look at all of this. Look, we are the most decorated network marketing company in the history I mean, the, I remember one lawyer, law firm in the U.S. had gotten, and he said something I never forgot. I did not take it as a compliment because I'm a big fan of the industry, but now I'm different. Now I, he said, you guys are too prestige for the industry. You're too, this is, your company shouldn't be an MLM. You guys are too prestige. And you can see why he says that. You can see why he says that. I mean, look at this one. We're in the top, this is a top 10 masterpiece of time and this is against Rolex Crown, Patek Philippe, where we, we're right next to it, and on the cover. And on the cover. This is a top tour part. This is who was in this. That's the fairy president, right? Three times, fairy March, this is coming, was voted the best of the best. Anyway, so here we go. I mean, it's, there's a lot here, guys. I mean, I can guarantee you, you sit down with your prospect and you do this, get a coffee, and kind of take them through this, right? I take them through this. And then they go like, holy crap, this is a good company. Like, this is really, really nice. It, you can see clearly the difference between this company and the last opportunity that they saw, right? There's a distinct difference. It's like coming from a tuk-tuk opportunity, as we say in Thailand, tuk-tuk, the three-wheeler, and go into a Rolls Royce, right? Go to Rolls Royce. That's, you know, they both technically move people, but it's not the same thing. We have lots of videos too, by the way. Look at all this. Look at all this. This is a TIFF. You guys could, this is, a, this is all TIFF. Long videos. Go watch it. Um, by the way, how many of you guys didn't know that we were on um, The View on the biggest show of the year? The biggest show of the year. Uh, 45 million people saw this. And we had to give this gift to all their audience the biggest show of the year for the biggest show daytime show 45 million look at the reaction look at the reaction when a bubble barbara walter her name, she says what they're getting look at the reaction fairy jewelry is known for luxury with modern elegant collection and sculptural designs and members of our studio audience are taking home a fairy necklace valued at 320 dollars show me another network marketing company can give you that <laughs> anyway there's so much in our history uh we're bringing it all back though we're bringing it all back we're gonna be who we are which is the best damn company ever existed in any time form of business all right what else we got here oh well we're also good people we we help a lot of people right we help a lot of people we've done so many projects you know Hundred thousand here. I guess there's so many projects. Every time there's something somewhere, 
you know, we're helping. These are the kids that we help who could not hear and three, four year olds. And then we did this operation and then we have videos that make you cry for the first time. The child hears the mom's voice and then she, and he's like, and then he starts to cry and she starts to cry. I'm going to start crying. So the point is we do a lot of stuff, you know, and that's part of our thing. When Somalia had the droughts, this was a few years ago. Um, and we put six trucks up there. It was like 30,000 people got fed. And we do a lot. Of good stuff. Again, we're good people, right? That's what our place is all about. And, but you, and this is important. You want to share all this, this information. If somebody asks about a close, this is the best close you can have. Let me show you what organization, what, pe what company you're actually you're actually uh, partnering with, right? So, so somebody wants to jump, uh, register, well, very simple. This is where people register next, and then there you go. What else we got here? Shop, launch, okay. We got to update that from shop, launch to mall. Why does it say leave the site? Changes you made, okay, yeah, okay. So now, if someone wants to shop, they come here, they shop there. I don't want to take it through that. Shopping credit system, opulence points. So you, when you launch somebody, just make sure that you spend a couple of hours. By the way, when you do this with people, they bond with the company. Not they know this is not the tuk tuk company that joined 16 times already, right? This is how you keep people bonded. Now we have the, uh, the the lookbook. We used to print these books before, but now we have them online here. It's a special program we use. Look at all these lookbooks. And it's awesome. So what I did the other day, I actually put my camera because I want to do social media. You want to do social media? I have my camera and I just basically click and video it and just share the video on social media. You can do that. So... Okay, this is what some we do with the horses, people with animals they love. Have you guys even seen all this stuff? Like this is we we make great stuff, guys. Like this is not your normal stuff. All right, so those those were the lookbooks. Choose your kind. Okay, all right, team. I think what I wanted to do is that uh, give you guys a. Um, you guys, uh, by the way, let's talk about something else too. Opulence. That domain itself, like I, I run into people all the time who are in business, who's in the marketing business. They're like, opulence.com, that's you? They don't know what the company is, but they know the domain. Like how It's like saying casino.com or lottery.com. These are very, very prestige and expensive. Like how do you get, you know, there was a domain called hope.com, Michael Saylor, hope.com. Hope, $15 million is what they're asking for it. So, you know, this brings a lot of credibility. You know, if we're in a luxury business, if you're in a luxury business, right? What is the domain that you want to have? <laughs> I mean, what's the highest of the highest in luxury? Opulence, right? If you are in a casino business, and there's lots of casino brands out there. What's the ultimate uh, domain to have? Casino.com. And only one brand will have it. And they would be paying a gosh of money for it, right? Gosh of money for it. And so again, people look at this, and, and especially very high in business people, and they're like, opulence.com, that's you, right? So... Now, before we had opulence.com, because we didn't have it at first, we had we put myopulence.com, and that's what you'd see here. We still use that for for in the back end, but you know, opulence it took us about three years to actually get opulence.com. Um and it was like 14 or 15 brands, including Louis Vuitton. They wanted it. We put a big bet in. And I don't know what happened. I don't know why we got it because it took about three years. Um, I, my guess is we wouldn't have been able to, I know we paid a lot for it, but we wouldn't have been able to beat Louis Vuitton 
So, I mean, if you're in the old Uber luxury, if you're particularly for Rolex or if you're a Rolls Royce, anyone in a, you know, the top of the chain in luxury would want this domain. It's the epitome of, of, it's the ultimate. It's the it's the ultimate, right? So we put a bid in and waited, and I think my guess is somebody, I mean, with, with Louis Vuitton and probably dropped the ball on this, right? They could outbid us, you know. They probably dropped the ball on it, and uh, we just took long enough, and we had a bid in, and we we're quick on it, and and we got it. And so that is a huge blessing for me for credibility reasons. Forget about what's worth for, for the credibility reasons. You know, like I said, if you're opening up a, you know, if you're opening a bingo, uh, bingo hall, playing bingo, right? What's the ultimate domain, if you're going to be very large, that you want to have? Bingo.com, <laughs> right? So those are the, and only one brand can have it, right? So that's where, that's where we're at. All right, team. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the lines and have you guys talk to me directly. And share whatever you want to share. Share whatever you want to share. Um, if you have questions, ask a question. If there is, uh, you want to say something about the past, say something about the past. Uh, whatever you have, want to do. So we already have Renee raise his hand. Let me check. Renee, hang on. Let me try to get you to speak. Oh, two got. Yep, hang on. Okay, please. Uh, Yes. Yes, please, Renee. Hello. Good evening, Aranya. Good evening, CEO Ramin. Hello, LD4. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, I just want to share a quick story about sometimes how we always talk about, you know, um, we, we, uh, infinite follow-up, infinite follow-up. And uh, so basically today, uh, it's been a long day. I've been on meetings since, since I literally woke up till uh, till even right now, actually, I'm enjoying your call. I'm having a little cigar right now. I just enjoy my day with me. <laughs> but um, to share a story. So 17 years ago, yeah, again, sorry, good evening, everyone. Good morning, everyone. So 17 years ago, um, when I first got started, of course, our CEO's training was, you know, contact your top five people or the people you care about the most, right? So, of course, I called, you know, my, of course, my parents and my dad was really negative. So uh, X on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, I, I called two of my, of my best friends, um, Alfred and John. And so you know, they they got in, of course, they saw the benefits, at the very least, you know, some tax benefits. Um, they ended up doing nothing, okay? But but get this, though, right? Um, mm -hmm. Alfred ended up only ever bringing, I think, one, maybe two guests. Maybe two. I think it was actually only one. And, and that was it. So 17 years later, I got a message on Facebook pretty much a few weeks ago about someone named Aya and Deb and he wanted to try the products. And I, I I forgot who they were. I thought maybe it was someone that I had passed cross with a long time ago. So anyways, um, he, he canceled the first appointment three weeks ago and then he was supposed to come in last week. I forgot about that. got too busy. And then today he says, Renee, are you free? I'm like, yeah, I'm available today. If you can meet me there, I have another meeting at one o'clock come at around 11. So he, he shows up and, you know, I'm just, you know, being very, very courteous, you know, great to kind of see you again. It's been a while. I'm not really sure where I, where I met him from. And so it was the same gentleman that basically I had met 17 years ago. And wow. so, yeah, so basically, you know, we're talking in the uh, in the office and, you know, I'm trying to figure out, like, how do I, how do I know this person? And so, but he actually brings up the name Alfred. I'm saying, wait, Alfred Wong? He's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, he's like, Renee, I met you when you first got started in the first office, the, uh, I guess it was Sims Crescent back then, Ramin. Yeah. He even remembered, you know, the jewelry, walking up the stairs, all of that stuff. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, like it's like, you know, um, memory rush, you know, um, coming back to me all at the same time. And so long story short, he um, wanted to get you know, more knowledge. He wanted to try our products. And so he initially came in to buy, you know, a bottle. And my thing, I, I never tell someone buy one bottle. I'm like, if you're gonna try this thing, you wanna take it for at least three months straight. So if you're gonna be taking two full droppers per day, you wanna get at least six bottles kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I said, but if you're gonna do that and buy six bottles retail, well, why don't you look at these packages? Because I know he's a builder. I know he, he's in sales, right? So long story short, he ended up launching as a lifestyle advisor today. And 
like what a, like what what a thing right 17 years later and he was even telling me you know he said something like you know uh yeah you know it's uh i you know uh, I finally joined like <laughs> yeah, 17 years later, right? That, and that, that destroys my my record because my record was three years, you know, of uh, you know, getting somebody in. So 17. Right. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I, I think the fact that I've been in this company for 17 years also, you know, so uh, like a, a word of message to those out of you out there. The longer you remain in a company, I'm telling you, the more credibility you will build up if you are consistently posting things, right? If you post once a day, you know, it's not, or, or like, sorry, one, once a month, it won't do much, but I'm posting every day. And so, you know, it was just such a great thing for me um, to add to the list of stories I can now share about infinite follow-up, you know? And so I'm already, uh, he's he's booked a meeting for me next Tuesday to go downtown to meet one of his top prospects. Cause I told him, you know, I said, give me your top five people right, right now. And so we have that plan anyways, but I just want to share that story and say, hey guys, you know, infinite follow-up, you follow up until they call the cops, but yeah, infinite follow-up. So thank you, Ramin, back to you. That's fantastic, Renee. That's that's fantastic. And yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, you know what, when you get somebody in right away, right? You know, I used to say, um, who's your top 20? Make a list right now, because we we, we only wanted to, want to make a list of, you know, 500 people. But at that night, same night, Put your top 20. I'll take a copy of the list. I say, you know what? I'm going to check up on this for you, on you. And and because I wanted them to call them, right? Say, hey, did you call so-and-so? Did you call so-and-so? Um, and you want to get into it right away. This, again, these are stuff, basic stuff, right? Folks, listen. I mean, Renee's talking about posting. Look, the world has a lot of problems. You, through your mall, you can provide a lot of solutions. It's not hard to post. Take one of our products and talk about it. You get a new testimony, talk about it. Share a new testimony. Go on the the go on the opulence uh, uh design, um the font of life official Facebook page. Don't use names, but here's a new testimony to that. Here's a new testimony. Here's a, just share, share those, and then eventually I'm telling you, people will call you, people will call you. It's they're okay. watching. Yeah, they watch all the time. They're it's always incredible. watching you. You don't know it, but they're watching. <laughs> you know what? I, this is, I'm, I'm always shocked by this because every time I go to a social event and people I don't know, they walk up to me and say hi, they, especially for my own community. I don't know them. So hi, how are you? And how do we know each other? Like, oh, I follow you for the last three years on, on, on Instagram. You know, and they just talk about Cyrus. They talk about everything. I, hey, so you were in this. And so they actually watch everything you do. They don't talk about it. They don't message you, but they're talking, they're, they're watching you. And one day comes where you, you put the right thing that they need. Or the situation changes. They were doing well before, but now they're not doing well. A lot of the sudden they was calling, okay, how do I make money with this thing? Because I've been watching it for a while. So Renee's absolutely correct. When you constantly are posting, and what do you post? Simple, a solution. A solution. Look at the products that we have and talk about what is what type of solution it provides. And you know, and also about the fashion line alone. There's a thousand SKUs there. Look at this, guys. And this is a promotion. Here is the sale. Here's a put out something. And by the way, people are very impressed with people who are serious about business. And if you want people to take you seriously, what's the first place people check? It's a social media page. That's the first place they check to see what are you talking about. And if they see very organized posts every day, you're putting something about your business. It shocks me that some of, I see some, you know, partners, whether it's this company or previously, you know, in my other company, it's, it's shocking to me that people in this business and they're posting stuff about other things. Like how? Like how does that help you? Posting about other things, how does that help you? Wait, wait, trying to go for a career of uh, being a being a journalist? Is that what you want to do? Unless you want to be a journalist, right? And then why do you do that? Talk about something that makes you money. Talk about something that you can provide solution for. And there is a lot of solutions we have in this company. So be very organized about that. 
If I can just really quickly uh, remain, um, actually, we have a very special event on June 1st. Uh, the posters are coming out really soon. Uh, we're going to have LD4 Ifra Hassan coming from Ottawa to attend our live boot camp in Toronto. We have a whole new revised boot camp layout, which we're talking about today, right, Ramin? And so June 1st, mark your calendars. There will be a flyer coming up for that. And again, all these things here that I'm talking about, that we're talking about, you're going to learn all of that at our boot camp. And, and nothing is better than being in person. So we'll see you all there. Thank you, Ramin. And thank you, Rania. Back to you guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Wow, thank you. We've got three more persons. All right. Um, I really wish the hour is longer because we're on top of the hour. Uh, allow me to invite Karen Henry first and then Maria. And the last one, I believe, of Lens Global Info must be uh, Cam. So, Karen, please. Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Aranya and Ramin. I just want to keep this really short, but I am just so thrilled to uh, be going back to the future and be everything I'm seeing and watching, you know, I've experienced it and I was there. I was fortunate enough to be there basically almost from the beginning, not quite as early as Renee and, and experience all of this. And I remember the Ferry Mosh launch with the police and the red carpet at the hotel and Remember Everything. that video? Everyone was in tears, and then they does that job. The, the model legend. Remember that video? Oh my God! And you know, it it was so bougie and so, like, there is nothing that can touch this period. The end. I was talking to one of my people today, and we were talking about what this make what makes us so unique, and it is across the board on every single. Thing from the compensation to our product offerings to and on all all of the SKUs like it's just mind-blowing so I'm just so proud and uh, so grateful and I think it's all divinely guided and I can't wait to see <laughs> I can hardly keep up with everything but <laughs> I mean it just gets better and better and better so uh congrats and and I can't wait for Friday and I'm so happy that we're taking this approach back to really be the solution and really offer very boldly our opportunity because there's nothing that can touch it. Yeah, the glory days of fun days are coming. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. Um, I'll just speak on first, okay? So may I please uh, ask... Uh, Maria, Maria, please. Welcome, Maria. Uh, Absolutely. Okay. Could you hear me loud and clear, Rena? Yes, yes. Wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Again, a pleasant good evening to you, Sir Ramin. Good morning, good afternoon to everyone around with the Opulence family. Guys, you don't understand. You know exactly what Karen was saying. Ms. Maria, this is one of the things I love. I remember... In March of 2016, we had the biggest fashion show, the Fairy Runway. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, they had lined up hundreds of people in front of the International Plaza Hotel then on the airport strip. We had lineup of hundreds of people. Actually, it was, I, 18, in, actually it was 1,800 in total because... The, the main ballroom, which is the biggest hotel in GTA, by the way, the big ball. Yes. Then we had to take the ball below to over, just put some people there with a the big screen because <laughs> just not enough room for everybody to be there. Absolutely. I will never, never forget. I invite, I had about 55 guests. <laughs> Listen, people line up. I mean, I had guests who came there two hours in advance because i told you guys to to get the reserve seat you got to come early and i was there three hours prior to the call guys it's a moment i will always remember the biggest fashion show and was yeah, the no. best of the best of the best that time i brought in about 11 le's well here we have le's Everybody joined. I mean, it's like, and then from this the day, then the following week, I meet up with other people and they were coming in. I brought in so many people, ladies and gentlemen, there is no other company than Opulence Company. 
And I decide, I saw the vision and I says, my goal is to become a millionaire and I will do whatever it takes to let people know there is no other company out there than opulence. We're blessed to have our CEO. We're blessed to have our SVP, the man with the heart of gold, the man who loves people, the man who, since I've been here, listen, guys, every three or four months, he raised our pay. Look what's happening. He just show us all in the back office. By the way, sir, I mean, this is what I do when I meet prospect on a daily basis. That's the first thing I take them through. And they absolutely say, oh my God, this is one of the best, you know, website I've ever seen. This is all put together. And I say, well, to, let's go further. Let me take you to the showroom. And from the moment they stepped into that door, I mean, they fall apart. They fall apart. There is no one I brought in that showroom have never bought a product. They either brought a piece of it, airing, whatever, they buy something. Even though they didn't join, but now they become my customer who always consistently buy. I'm here today. I got a phone call, a referral from people I met since last week. And the lady said, I went through your website and I used the product and I love it. I want to become, she just order another six bottle. She shared it. And I ask, I say, who do you know? that is suffering from high blood pressure, go over. And if you want, Father's Day is coming up. You want to have a nice gift for him. You can order it right on my website. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how simple this is. So we are so, I am truly blessed. I'm truly honored to be part of this extraordinary business opportunity and the man of the hour behind it. Thank you so much, Doreen. I love you and appreciate you guys. One team, one dream, and to the billion. Let's rock it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Back to you, sir. Thank you, Maria. To the You're welcome. Powerful. Thank you, Maria. Powerful. I've got two Thank you. more lining up. Um, since uh, I believe Opulence Global Info is Cam, can I please just have Cam first before Brian? Yeah, Brian, please wait. Okay, just a second. Uh, hang on. Oops. Oh, where did I, I lose you? He's here. Ryan, He's here. Can you hear me? Please? Yeah, go ahead. We can hear you. Go oh, ahead. yeah. Okay. Can you hear yes, me? Hey, guys. So, guys, a quick story from me. Hello, Opulence family. Love you all, as you know. Um, I just want to, you know, let everyone on this call know the difference between us and every other company out there is, uh, you know, it's uh, 10 o'clock at night. You've got the CEO on the call. But the key thing is... Mm -hmm. He's not a CEO that says, uh, do as I say. He says, do as I do. When I was going home tonight at the, uh, at the end of the day, he looked at me and said, Cam, I said, yes. He said, I want you on the call tonight. I said, done. Now I get on the call. I see exactly why he said he wants me on the call tonight because he just said, he asked everyone last week to get someone on the call today. <laughs> so we don't do as... We, we don't ask you to do as we say. No, we ask you to do as we do. Now I see why he looked at me and said, get on the call tonight. Right? Am I the only one that did it? Is that the, am I the only one that did it? <laughs> right? Because he literally looked at me and I was laughing the second he, he said to everyone that, hey, guys, did you bring everyone like I asked? So please uh, take this stuff to heart, guys. We have fun with this, but that's how you build your business through engagement. Right, You build your business by getting everyone on these calls, building the value. 10 o'clock at night, we've got the CEO pouring his heart out about how this business was built from scratch. And we have some incredible leaders on this call sharing their stories of having been there. You know, if Renee, after the crazy hard day he's had, which I uh, had the pleasure of witnessing in head office today, how hard he was at his art, if he can make the time to be on this call, What's anyone else's excuse? Yeah. So That's please, wow. guys, you got to get everybody <laughs> engaged and let's let's get these calls to 200 plus people. Otherwise, you're missing out on the value that's needed for your teams. Thank you so much, guys. That's for me. That's enough for me. Thank you. And he's still, his uh, dinner is getting cold as well. One of the call, uh, Ramin was, you know, wait, uh, dinner was to be served until his lovely wife came and said, your dinner is getting cold. And I was hosting him last time. I remember. Thank you so much, Cam. Um, we have last, we have time for Brian. Yeah. Uh, Brian, please. 
Oh, where are you? Yes, please. Uh, where are you? Can you hear everyone? Yes, Hi, yes. Hello. Hi, yeah. Hi, good evening, uh, Mr. CEO and Aranio. Great job on, on hosting. Uh, I just have two quick stories to share. And I guess the first one is just, again, to Ramin's point about wearing your fashion. I remember, you know, traveling and, you know, being in restaurants and having people, you know, talk about, you know, how great or how amazing our, our, our mercies were and how great our watches were. And so people you don't know just coming up to you and just, again, um, complimenting you on your, your fashion. But the second thing is about, you know, being able to deliver $100,000 timepieces. And I don't know if Ramin remembers that, but I remember my first trip to, to Nigeria and we had to deliver a hundred thousand dollar timepiece and an empire empire twenty one karat gold diamond ring to a customer. So you know, going back to those days are just again something I'm so excited about because it definitely is something that sets us apart from every other business. Yes, we have amazing products from our fashion. We've got amazing products in terms of our skincare, our healthcare, our dental care. We really have it all now. And so there's no reason why we're not on the road to becoming a, a multi-billion dollar company, forget the billion, uh, a multi-billion dollar company, and really having a vehicle that can change the lives of every single person on this call. So I'm so excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to the return of Ferry Bosch, and I'm looking forward to, again, you know, being, you know, elevated. We're already a prestigious company, but, you know, adding that Ferry Bosch element is just going to take us. Uh, to that next echelon of, you know, achievement and notoriety. So, you know, thank you for everything that you do, uh, Ramin. And um, we're excited to be here and looking forward to the call on Friday. Thanks, Brian. Okay. And um, I know that, wow, wow, I wish this hour is longer. I just want to say that I love it. I love being here. I love being hosting your session as you uh, always, because I learned that, I They're love amazing. the way you get me huh? the They're most amazing. decorated in our industry, our the company. Okay, great session. Thank you very much. I love what we, you know, when we go back to basic, just like you said, you bring us back because we missed all those time, the beginning time. Those of you who's like Renee, uh, Maria, Karen, you have been there with, uh, you know, from the very beginning. So Thank you very much for the very wonderful training today. And thank you all of us who join. One team, one dream. One dream. To the billion. To the billion. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry.